Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. Welcome to day two of our Christmas countdown. I'm so excited to be here and I'm so happy that you're joining me. And it already feels like an accomplishment to me that we made it through the first day and now it's already day two, which means we are into the month officially, which is just crazy. So yesterday I showed you how to make this little book. What I forgot to mention is that you can use anything that you have. If you've got a little notebook laying around or a little journal, just use that. You don't need to have anything special. This one I just made using printer paper because I usually have a stack of that laying around anyway. And then I used my twine to bind it. And then out of all the cover options, I ended up choosing this little vintage image that I got off of Google. So I just glued it on. And day one was the star that I just love. And I wrote down just kind of my wishes for the holiday, some of our traditions, um, wishing for safety, wishing for peace, love, kindness, you know, all the, all the holiday things. That was day number one. All right, so for day number two, I thought it would be fun to just choose a word for the month. So there are so many beautiful words and some of us are going through struggles. Some of us are having the best month of our lives. Some of us um, are missing loved ones. There's just so many, so many feelings, so many thoughts. So I want you to just think of a word that's important to you that you can um, just kind of keep as your like mantra maybe this month. So um, my first thought was just kindness. Um, during the month, as we get stressed and we get busy, it's easy to get frustrated with people, get frustrated with ourselves, get frustrated with our loved ones for not helping put up a Christmas tree or um, not shoveling a driveway or whatever. I don't know. So just kind of that bit of kindness. And then that that word to me turned into the word grace, that just we don't know what everybody is going through. We don't know what's on people's hearts. And um, just treating people with a little bit of grace, not judging, not, I don't know, you know what I mean. <laughs> treating people with kindness and love and acceptance wherever they are at. So my word is going to be grace. So to do that, I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm just going to put a line across the top of my paper. And I'm going to write the word grace and I'm just going to put it nice and large. Okay, if you don't love your handwriting, I'm so sorry. Um, just, just try your best. Do whatever letters you like to make. If you want to make them all capitals or all lowercase or cursive, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little heart on each end like that. I'm going to put a little heart in here because I've got some space. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to use some coins today to make ornaments. So I'm just in these videos trying to think of a calming activity each day. Got a little bit of a dark spot there. Here we go. Okay. Um, just thinking of a, a nice little activity every day to help us be mindful. So I'm going to take this larger one and I'm just going to trace it a couple of times anywhere you want and then I'll take another one and I'll do a few more doesn't matter where you put these. Okay, now that I've got those, I'm going to add little toppers to them. So I'm just going to make these little rectangular type shapes. And you could always do like a little like a loop, like a little hook or something if you want. Okay. 
And then I'm going to draw lines coming down. They're going to hang from this little bar up here. So your line could be straight if you'd like. Do a couple straight ones maybe. And it could also be a little bit, um, you know, kind of wiggly. So maybe to this one right here, I'm just going to sort of make a little loop and then come down. Like it's a little bit twisted. Do the same thing for this one. So this one I'm going to have to go behind this one. I'm just going to imagine it coming out and going down there. And this one I'm going to just do a little wiggle all the way down. Okay. And then you can put any designs you want in these. I should have done some research of some really cool patterns, but um, I didn't think about that. I just thought, I'll draw some ornaments. It'll be great. So um, let's just kind of figure this out together. So on this first one, I think I'm just going to put a curve and a curve next to it. And then same thing on the bottom. Just giving it that rounded look. I don't know, should I have made that go this way? Hmm, I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna put a word in mine. I'm just enjoying words today. On this one up here, I think I'll add a little snowflake. I like to make snowflakes by putting one line and an X. You could always put another line in there if you want as well. And I'm gonna put these little V shapes. I do think I need another line because I've got a lot of space there. And I'll put some little connecting lines in here. I think that's probably good enough. This one, I'll do a zigzag. Again, you do whatever you want. These are just meant to be fun little calming activities, giving us a break from the craziness that can be the holidays. So pretty. On this one, I'm gonna put a little tree. I think I'm gonna do it on this big one here. So I love to make these little Christmas trees um, just by doing this like loopy thing where they just get a little bit wider every time. If that's too tricky or you don't love it, go ahead and just make a tree however you want. I'm gonna put a star on the top. And on this one over here, I'm just going to do some more stripes. I'll do some thick and some thin. And inside those, I can put some designs. are turning out pretty cute for not having any idea what I was gonna do and 
this one, I'm just going to put a heart in the middle and some dots. I'm going to try this way. I don't know if that makes it look more or less round. I'm not sure. Okay. Then on some of these straight lines, I'm just going to put almost like a little bow, just kind of a, a fun little extra thing there. You can put them on the wiggly lines. And I can even put those on my letters. Isn't that cute? And down here I'm going to write December 2nd, 2023. And then you've kind of created this little coloring book for yourself. So if you've got watercolors or color crayons or markers or anything, you can go ahead and add some color. I have these gel pens that I'm going to link um, in the description. I think they're called stardust or starburst i don't remember but they're sakura jelly roll and they've got a little bit of a shimmer to them and they have this cute little shooting star pattern that's kind of how you identify them so i just picked the green the red and the gold and i'm just going to add a little bit of color just for fun i'm not making this for anyone except myself so i'm not worried about doing a perfect job or matching the colors up just taking a moment for myself. Add some green to my little tree. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but these pens are so sparkly. kind of cute and even add some details up in the tops of these ornaments could color in those little bows if I want Color in my little hearts. The gold does not show up very well, but I'm going to add some details with it anyway. I mean, it shows up great in my book, it just doesn't show up very well on the camera. It's kind of more yellow than gold anyway, but. Fun little details. I'm gonna put some gold dots around the paper. And if you would like to journal on this page, you know, you can use this as a daily journal some days I'll have a little journal prompt. Today I didn't, today I just wanted to draw ornaments, but you could write on here maybe um, a little story about one special ornament that you have. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna write real quick on here that when I was little, I'm talking like the 1970s, my grandma would buy like bulk ornaments and they were the cheapest little plastic scary looking Santa ornaments or reindeer ornaments, but she'd buy like, like a dozen or 15, 20 of them. And then each of us kids got to pick one out for our tree. And, um, maybe I'll pull one of these out one of these, um, days to show you, but I have like a little Pluto puppy that's missing his feet and a Mickey mouse that has no hands. Um, just because it's from the seventies, they've fallen apart, but they're very special to me. So um, I won't bore you with me writing my little journal entry, but I am going to write about my grandma buying me ornaments 
And then I'll also mention that my mom still buys ornaments for me. She used to buy them for me every year. Now it's just kind of more random, but my tree is filled with ornaments. And my aunt, my Aunt Sam buys me ornaments as well. Yeah, I'm going to write a journal entry about ornaments. Okay, have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.